we are walking dogs. Cycle Stray Friends is a group of volunteers who rescue stray dogs and puppies and provide them with shelter. Cycle Stray Friends also place some of the dogs in short-term foster homes to socialize them before finding responsible adopters to give them a loving home. Their goal is to help stray dogs have a better life, which they deserve. They are funded by donations from the local community. from small puppies to old and great dogs. They are well fed, well cared, and they are beautifully groomed. Tell us a bit about yourself. Okay, my name's Linda. I'm originally from England, but I've lived in Hong Kong for 21 years. Okay? Okay. Right. Thank you. Um. Where did your inspiration of like helping dogs come from? I guess I've always loved dogs as a kid, so I have one myself. And I feel like my dog is so privileged that I want to help other dogs. My daughter, my daughter is actually at Good Hope School and she asked a stray friend to come and visit her school. So they went and then um, Narelle needed something for um, uh, a fate and so we went to help and after that I came. So now I come and once a week I come and volunteer, walk the dogs and I come and help people like you that are interested. So I do my bit. I actually don't know. It's, it's quite innumerable. So my job here is really, I come walk the dogs when I have time, or more importantly, I'm in charge of feeding the street dogs in the cycle uh, area. So okay. how many dogs have you helped over time? Oh, I don't know. I've, I've only been doing this maybe two months or so, but if, when I come once a week, I maybe walk 20, 30 dogs, feed them, get all their food ready, and I walk them as well. Oh, so yeah. Very nice. Uh, I would say it's like 
such a friendship. And they are actually all really sweet. All the shelter dogs, all the dogs I meet. And yeah. How would you describe your relationship between you and the dogs? Uh, when you first start, it's very distant. But each time you come, they recognize you and you become more confident and you build your own confidence and the dogs become confident. So it's a good relationship. I enjoy volunteering. I actually do. It's my own relaxing time from when I don't have to work. So I, ironically, I, I come here and volunteer and it's it's fun and relaxing for me. Okay. Good job. Um, so do you have like a favourite dog in three times? I, I, I do. Uh, there are two. There is a boy and a girl called Toby and TC. And there is also two girls which, which nobody else wants to deal with called Lily and Dolly. Lily and Dolly are maybe, um, they're mixed with a um, English breed and they're quite, quite strong. But lovely little dogs. But every, every dog's the same. Yeah, yeah I've lost dog. Toby just now. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I like Toby. Yeah? Yep. I have several dogs that I know better only because they used to be street dogs before um, they got to upgrade and move into the shelter. And I guess they know me better um, than some of the other ones. So I do have a few favorites. <laughs> You want a photo, Jake? Um, so, have you, um, why do you choose dogs over other pets, like, like cats? Uh, well, I, I'm actually allergic to cats, so, but, but why, it was just, stray friends need as many volunteers, as many helpers. It wasn't that I wanted to come out and help dogs, on, it's doggy. just that they need the help, so, and I can volunteer my time, I can give that help, so that's why I came. So, why do you Um, but I have to admit I'm more of a dog person only because they interact with you more and they're so unconditional with the attention and the love they pay you back for what you put in. How do you know so much about the dogs? Do you do like a lot of research at home? Or? I think it's just from having dogs at home myself all my life. Oh. And I think um, the big thing is not to be prejudiced or afraid of them. And I mean, they're actually all really sweet at heart. So. Okay.
So how much time approximately would you spend per week? Like how many hours? On average, I come for a full day, so maybe seven hours a week I come for. Oh. And honestly, if anybody wants to come, anybody can volunteer. And it's not just walking the dogs, it's getting the food ready. It could be sweeping the path. It could be all sorts of things. Or even doing charitable things. So like your school, you can have an, um, an event to raise money. So you can help in a very a variety of ways. Okay. Just come along, come along, have a go and see what you can do. Everybody can contribute anything, they can all do a bit. I think with volunteers, what I would encourage is just, first of all, probably raising awareness because it takes a lot of um, manpower and also funding to keep this place operating. Yep. And also just um, spend some time and get to know a few dogs, like really get to know them because I think they like the company. Yeah. Yeah. If you have a message, what would it be? If it's in Hong Kong, I would say come and visit us because there is something here for everyone. If you're a school, you come out, you can walk the dogs, pet the dogs. If you don't have a chance of a dog, now you've got a chance. So just come and enjoy. Just come and enjoy Cyclone Stray Friends. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you very too. much. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Okay, I guess the message would be um, that dogs obviously have their rights and all and I would encourage people to adopt and not buy a pet and once you adopt know that they're family and it's for life. For more information make sure you go and check out www.psychungstrayfriends.net